Hey guys, it's Andrew, and this is why we're fat. So, we made our caramelized sugar, and we poured it on a pan, and now it's all ground up. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it. Chunky, but mostly powdered. It smells incredible. This is about one cup of it. Um, we're gonna put this right on top of the apples. I'm gonna use all of it. Four tablespoons of melted butter. One and a half tablespoons of flour and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then because I want to do something a little dressier today, not just straight up apple pie, I have one cup of raisins that I have rehydrated with two tablespoons of a good whiskey. And then I've covered them with just enough water and then I put them in the microwave for three or four minutes. Um, so we'll toss those in there so they're nice and juicy. Um, you're not going to get straight up whiskey, right? You're not going to, it's not going to be super overwhelming, but it is going to be kind of in the background, which I think makes this extra special along with that caramelized sugar, but you're going to get it all mixed together, make a mess, super fun, get it all tossed together like this, make sure that the flour and the sugar is all kind of incorporated. And we're gonna take our pie crust. Um, as you already know, learned from me, I am not a pie crust maker, so I have a pre-bought, pre store-bought crust. If you make your own crust, good on you, enjoy it. But I have a store-bought crust here. Um, no extra rolling or anything like that, just laid out on a piece of parchment. And we're gonna take our apples and we're gonna pile them up in the center. So this can be a little bit daunting because you do wanna have an edge for this crustata, and we'll show you why in a second. Pack it in there. It's a lot, I know, but trust me, this is what you want. You've got your giant mountain of apples and raisins and caramelized sugar and goodness, and you're gonna kind of squish it down into the center of the pie crust. This. It's okay, if you've got a little bit on the top, we're gonna rinse our hands really quick, and then we're gonna tighten it up and dress it up so it's even fancier and prettier. Here you're gonna take your pie crust and you're gonna fold it up to kind of start enclosing the apples. Make sure that none of your apples poke through like this. It's totally rustic, so it's okay if it's not exactly perfect as you make your way around. Kind of pinch those pleats that you make here kind of together and that helps them stay together as it bakes. Like that, kind of pack it in there, yeah. Then I have one egg yolk, just the yolk, not the white. Save your whites for other things. Um, and you're gonna brush the outside of the pastry shell with your egg yolk. This will make it nice and shiny. And then we're gonna dust it with turbinado sugar. Um, you don't have to dust it with sugar if you don't want to. I like the extra crunch you get from the sugar once the pie crust is cooked. We're gonna get it all brushed, nice and yellow. Good, good, good. Get it in there and perfect. Like that. And then sprinkle your turbinado sugar on the crust all the way around. It makes the crust nice and crunchy. Um, turn out, if you cannot do this with um, granulated sugar. Turbinado sugar is a larger crystal structure, so it doesn't melt the same way. Um, and it just stays nice and crunchy. So I also use it on my peanut butter cookies and things like that sometimes. But this is gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes. Um, it's intended to be rustic, right? This is not, this, the reason you do a crostata is because you don't want a fancy pie. Um, so it's gonna kind of sink down as the apples soften and cook. It's gonna, the, that flour is gonna thicken up the apple juice and the, the sugars and that stuff as they liquefy. Um, and those raisins are gonna add a nice plump kind of bite to the rest of the whole pie. So we'll put this in the oven and come back in a little bit and show you what it looks like and serve it up with some vanilla ice cream. Have a great day and don't forget to like our page and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more videos, have a great day.